Hello there, my name is Emin EMC Soft, and in this video I wanted to show how you can um, set up uh, language changes inside of a self-hosted. So for the cloud you have no problem, you just select on a particular language you need and you got the interface actually you're looking for. But in uh, self-hosted it's a bit different. So, uh, what I mean is that for example we got self-hosted and uh, in that self-hosted interface you need to have that box which change to language you need. Um, so it's not so easy um, task as you may think. For some reason uh, Bitrix make it a bit complicated. Um, the funny thing is that inside of a uh, uh, admin panel of a Bitrix you can see that there is a, some files already exist language file for interface but you're not able to activate them by clicking on some on some button so how to activate that uh, files you may find in that manual um, uh, and the uh, link to that manual bitrix manual you can find in um, in description of that video but in that video I want to show how uh, actually physically we're doing that. So together with my programmer I wrote a video how he physically doing um, um, how he implement code from that manual inside of a self-hosted. So first of all he going to the uh, Bitrix folder then he go to the PHP interface then uh, dbconphp and here in that file he copy um, code from here inside uh, of that file so it's uh, in our case it uh, looks a bit different but anyway it doesn't matter uh, then what uh, then he go to the uh, Bitrix and uh, to templates and to uh, header PHP. Yeah, the templates Bitrix 24 header PHP. And he copy here, uh, he passed here another code from the manual. All right. And uh, that uh, code should be after script before head so close the head tag then we go to the templates uh, bitrix24 footer and uh, we pass here that code after footer means that we need to have uh, that code just on the bottom so once you implemented that code inside of the self-hosted that box should be immediately available but the thing is that quite possible that you will have only a few language not all languages as we have here um, you got available language only a list of languages which you got inside um, if you go to a marketplace platform update and if you go to update you will see on the language file which currently used for a particular uh, self-hosted uh, Bitrix and um, so you may um, import um, or import a particular language file you need for example some specific language so if you go to the settings uh, localization export import import localization you can add a file for a particular language uh, um, you want to import uh, but the funny thing is that now uh, we got uh, self-hosted we got all languages and we can export any language we need so we can build the localization and export it and then we just import it so um, you need to get uh, those files from somewhere so uh, that's it uh, if you like that video click like if you got some questions regarding that video as ask, uh, ask your questions in, uh, in in comments under that video so shortly we're going to run uh, 
uh, B2 tra training. And if you would like to participate, please you please you, you leave your contact details in the uh, under the description in, in comments under this video or send it directly to us uh, via our website. So thank you and bye.